Hummingbirds hold a special place amongst many indigenous cultures who see them as an important sign of healing, bringing joy, love, strength, and resilience. Hummingbirds are a symbol of beauty and wisdom for the Navajo. When things of beauty come, it is said that it is thanks to the hummingbird. Legends say that hummingbirds float free of time and many Native American tribes believe that they are a connection to spirit, flying between this world and the spirit world, carrying messages from our ancestors. Nestled high up in the Rocky Mountains, held amongst the giant pines, and greeted by the flowing river, we found an old cabin in the forest. And this cabin was called Hummingbird Cottage because of the great many hummingbirds who live here. We heard the mountains whisper to us, calling us home calling us to a new way of life, calling us to come closer to nature, to the heartbeat of the earth, to touch the healing rivers and the delicate beauty of wildflowers, hold the earth intimately in our hands. And we heard the invitation to come, to collaborate with nature, to build a healing space an artistic dwelling amongst the mountains to nurture creativity, artistry, and celebrate this beautiful earth we call home. So we welcome you here with love and bring you the first of many short films in this new series, Postcards from the Rocky Mountains. This cabin needed to be emptied and so much stuff needed to be cleaned out before we could even begin our renovations. But with every bit of love we give to this cabin, we feel it pour it right back to us. It's a beautiful day here in the Rocky Mountains. Yes. And what are we doing today? We had some uh, well, house we fed the And we fed the hummingbirds. Oh yeah, no, that's, feeding the hummingbirds is like the first thing you have to do. We'll oh, I was gonna throw you that trash. Hold on a second. Oh, we gotta gosh. do some planting today. We do, we have to plant. Yeah, we're always half in the bag because we're at 9,000 feet, so. Yeah, we're a little floaty. We're like, woo! Uh, so we found that we really have to make to-do lists. Otherwise, the day goes on and we realized we didn't um, do like like really important things we had to do. <laughs> so anyways, to-do lists are a thing. Um, but yeah, it is gorgeous here today. The sun is shining. 
there's waterfalls all over the place because the snow is melting. So it's creating these beautiful waterfalls and we're just feeling so, so peaceful up here and uh, so excited to like start sharing this beautiful scenery with you guys. How's it going, Tim? Tim's taking out the trash. It's trash day. What bears? Oh, so Tim's taking out the trash because we can't, um, we can't, well, first and foremost, we always try to recycle everything that we can or um, compost, but we don't have our compost set up yet. No. And anyways, so we can't, with any trash that we do have, yes. we cannot, like cannot put it outside. Be Why? Because of the bears. Yes. And actually, I mean, other wildlife too. Yes. But especially the bears. So like we can't where we live because we're so remote, you know, if you start putting your trash outside, guess what guys, you guys know this, you're gonna start to attract bears. Yes. And honestly, it's to protect us, yes, but it's also to protect the wildlife. Because it's not good to start to attract wildlife too close to them, no. to the house for their, for their safety too, yes. you know, because you're really starting to set up something for them that's not safe yes. if they start to become reliant. Yeah, it's like seagulls, like when you feed them, they all come around, so like they need to have like a bear showing up every other day. I think we are really remote, but I never feel alone out here because of all the wildlife. And, it, cool. and even though summer's coming and the days are warm, like up there, I think it was like 30 degrees. It's so, high. Mm -hmm. so it's really, you really are like a step away from even like a two more time. Yeah. You're like way up there. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're kind of like, because we have to travel tomorrow, so we're trying to kind of get things done. So like yeah. we're taking the last bits. Thanks. Tim did an amazing job. He, the house was left in such a kind of horrible state. It was so dirty, there was so much stuff, food, junk, like it was really a gross job. And he sent me back and away <laughs> and he just totally cleaned it all up with a friend, the two friends. Yeah. And so now we're delivering the last bits. Yeah. Surprisingly all made out of wood. <laughs> Out. You can open it up. It's got doors. Buy the rummage sale and pick it up. Great tomorrow. Look, Tim's getting the mail. So the packages because we live at the bottom of the hill, I'll go into a box down here. So Tim's checking the box. Oh, you know that when the, when it's spring or, and it's going into early summer and all the leaves on the trees are really young and they're just like almost, I don't know, like lime green color. It's so beautiful. I've got, got it all. Got it all. Everybody shares that box for their UPS packages. Mm -hmm. Oh. So mail check, rummage stuff check. Baby ducks. Oh yeah, we gotta share something I, with I you guys. I filmed a little bit of the baby ducks. No, we really have to share these baby oh, ducks with you. Gosh, but I get nervous because there's a bald eagle. I know. I was there what one time when the bald eagle oh. flew over and they were all quacking and I was like, oh gosh. Oh. But, I know it's part of nature, but I still can't. Oh. I just want to go take those baby ducks and put them in cuddle in bed with me. Yeah. I don't see the babies. You know, they seem to be more like, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 There's some interesting vehicles.
that's getting to our house. But what's lovely is this view. That view. Wow. So worth the drive. I got you, you got me, we got plans. Good thing this isn't steep or anything. Good thing you can't tell it's steep and rocky. Mm-hmm. Holding on to you, holding on to me. Born in far off places. Oh. I got class, you got style. Don't have the money, but take it for a while. To the places of kings and queens, high tide. Next morning, our travels called us away from our sweet cabin in the forest. And when you live on top of a mountain, sometimes it's easier to walk down the road than drive. But like all adventures in life, sometimes the ones with the steepest climbs lead to the most amazing views.